Yeah, if you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times. Maybe a thousand and one on this channel. You can't out supplement, you can't out prescribe, you can't out stent or bypass a lifestyle problem. And if you've ever watched those videos where they've got the guy sitting at a table drinking beer and eating pizza right next to a guy on a treadmill who's running as hard as he can, you also realize you can't outrun a diet. So lifestyle is by far the most important thing you can do for health. And diet is by far the most important component of lifestyle. So we get a lot of questions about diet, what we eat, etc. And I'm human too. I think we're all humans if we admit it. I have my own problems with sweets. We just did a couple of videos on that. I've always had a lot of diet issues. Janice, on the other hand, has a different set of diet issues based on our genetics and the culture we grew up in. So we started doing a series on uh, the food that we prepare, the food that we eat, and for better or for worse. And Janice just recently on zucchini casserole. Now she'll mention in there me going to a quote five-star restaurant with our son. This is the age of COVID. He and I did go to a restaurant. She had been there the night before with him and we're giving him some extra individual one-on-one -on -one time and having fun doing it. But we ate outside. It was good, but I don't feel as sorry for Janice as she wants you to feel. So here you go. Here's Janice's zucchini casserole. So this is Janice again. I am back at my labor of love with zucchini. Instead of making lemonade out of lemons while Ford's eating at a five-star Italian restaurant, I'm making zucchini parmesan out of zucchini that I bought at a farmer's market last Sunday. So I'm going to show you what I have on the stove right now. So right now I have my zucchini steaming in a pot. And then I have my onion and garlic sauteing in a fry pan. And I will come back again for the assembling of the zucchini casserole. So now I'm back and I'm getting ready to combine the sauteed onions with the zucchini in a large casserole to which I will then add the pasta sauce, the mozzarella and some fresh basil, which is from my era garden. the finale with this zucchini parmesan. I have mixed the zucchini with the onion and garlic and I'm going to add the tomato sauce and the mozzarella cheese and then put it in the oven for 20 minutes until it's bubbly and I will show you how it turned out. So the final product is this zucchini parmesan. You can see the zucchini you can see the fresh basil that has been baked into the casserole. And thank you for listening to this. It took an hour from start to finish. I started with two large zucchinis, which I sliced thinly, boiled in a pot, sauteed onion and garlic in a skillet, mixed those together, added pasta sauce and mozzarella cheese. Healthy eating. So I'd like to talk with you a minute about the webinar. People don't understand what the webinar is. It's actually a great way to get some access to healthcare that you're just not going to get any other way. You actually get the lab tests yourself for at a local lab, a Quest lab near you, for the inflammation panel and the OGTT and the insulin survey. These are things, inflammation and prediabetes, that your doctor just does not know about. And here's the thing, Harvard Health and many others have said, look, sudden death is not always so sudden. The Hollywood picture that it's a bolt out of the blue is not realistic. It's more like real lightning preceded by clouds, wind, and rain. Stop that metabolic storm before the lightning strikes. And here's where that metabolic storm comes from. It's inflammation, 
and it has to do usually with prediabetes. So again, we actually get labs, we go over them in the webinar, and then you can start finding out how you can prevent that heart attack others said that you couldn't even predict. We can show you how. Thanks.